Connections between the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Glasgow and Malawi are very long-standing. Uh, we're sitting here in the David Livingston room and we gave him his medical degree in the middle of the 19th century and in fact then gave him an honorary degree in the 1860s. And David Livingston was very famous at that time as an explorer, a medical missionary, and also for having the, at that time, extremely novel idea that Europeans and Africans could work together with mutual respect, uh, with mutual aims. In more recent times, we've been connected through surgical training and medical training since about 2007, uh, since the Scotland-Malawi partnership got up and running in Scotland and we rejuvenated our links with Malawi at that time. And over the last nine years, we've had uh, flowing backwards and forwards between our community, which is not just based here in Scotland, but up and down the UK and indeed abroad, strong connections with colleagues in Malawi and in the medical school there in Blantyre. Yeah, fundraising is important for us because we want to deliver two main streams of activity. One is to provide scholarships for young Malawian doctors to come and spend a short period of time in the UK. And we're able to do that through a government-sponsored initiative called the Medical Training Initiative. But we need to provide a soft landing when these young doctors come to the UK. And we've had the first coming a year ago and another one just joined us recently in Glasgow. In addition to that, our teaching and training there involves expense, not just for our end of that, but also for the trainees uh, who want to make uh, use of the courses and the teaching we can do there. So to sponsor them through that process of taking time out from work, uh, we need some funding. And so that's why we're going to cycle around the five ferries on Saturday morning and afternoon indeed. Yeah. What we gain from them is a great insight and knowledge into working in difficult circumstances, with limited resources, and often that brings with it a skill set which is very useful in the environment that we work in in the NHS. I think particularly the need in Malawi is so obvious. Malawi is the 187th richest country in the world. In other words, not very rich at all. And Malawi has a crying need. And this long tie of friendship between Scotland and Malawi is a good basis for us to be involved there. Sometimes the need in low-income countries for healthcare becomes quite overwhelming and it's very difficult for individuals or indeed organisations to know where would one start, how could one help. What we've identified in Malawi is small steps that we can begin to make and we hope in time will bear fruit in a better trained uh, workforce in Malawian hospitals and indeed in the wider community in Malawi. Well, we wanted to do something a little bit imaginative here in the college. We have a big fellowship and membership, but led by uh, myself and our president, David Galloway, some senior members of the council and executive team here are going to make our way around the five ferries. We wanted to do something that was manageable for some old men and old women, um, something that we can uh, push ourselves a little bit at. So over the last two to three months, we've all undertaken quite a bit of training on our bicycles. I've only fallen off twice. Um, but we will hopefully complete the task on Saturday and get round the 51 miles.